Monday marks 75 years since the liberation of Auschwitz. That's the Nazi death camp in Poland where hundreds of thousands of Jews were killed during World War II. In observance of International Holocaust Remembrance Day, the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum here in Washington will hold a special ceremony today. 75 years ago, one of the darkest chapters in human history came to an end. As we turn new pages in the book of mankind, we must never forget the past. These who did not survive, unfortunately, have no voice. I'm left with a voice. I'm not your fear. I'm a Holocaust survivor. Hitler was our enemy. Today, I have a different enemy. It's time. Most of us are getting older, dying on a steady basis. So we try to do whatever we possibly can to make sure and educate what happened during the Holocaust doesn't happen again. A friend of his came to our meeting spot and told us, I'm sorry, that uncle had been killed. Some of the survivors survived themselves, but no other, other families they suffered a lot during that period of time. 30 through immediate family, grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, all wiped out in Auschwitz. I say shalom, Bimramov. We are say shalom. Speak out, you know. We know, for instance, if you don't take a side, you remain neutral, only benefits the perpetrator, not the victim. Following in the tradition of the early memoirists like Primo Levi or Elie Wiesel, we shine the light on those who were persecuted.